Hello everybody, welcome here, it's Ariana. I'm gonna be trying to recreate some Pinterest outfits today. These are things that I just pinned onto my like fall 2022 capsule wardrobe inspo. So we'll see, I'll try to challenge myself to only use the items that are in my capsule wardrobes in the fall and my all year one because I'm just gonna use what I have. They might not be like super close to the original but I think that's what makes it like realistic, I guess. I mean, it's really just to like draw inspiration from anyway but I'm gonna try to get as close as possible and then see what I think about the outfit. If it's something that I would have picked myself or maybe like I'll make some tweaks to make it more my style. Just to let you know, and if you've seen my capsule wardrobe video, then you know most of my clothes are actually thrifted. So I won't have like, specific links or anything but i also think it serves as inspiration so you know what to look for when you go thrifting all right so i am going to pull up my board now i'll put the link to my pinterest if you're interested in seeing the whole board and i've also started working on my winter capsule inspo board as well okay right off the bat i think this is something that we could probably recreate this seems like a very basic outfit and i think i have similar renditions of this pinned like throughout the board but leather jacket with a knit sweater kind of draped over the shoulders and then some jeans converse little bag sunglasses just like a very classic look so let's see what I can put together okay so here is what I'm starting with I've got on a pair of jeans and you can't see what kind of shirt she's wearing in the picture so I just picked a very basic white t-shirt both of these are in my all your capsule and then I do have on a platform converse I don't have black but I have the white ones so then I'm gonna add my leather bomber jacket this is a vintage one I got off of Poshmark. And then this is that sweater that I just had on. I'm gonna drape this over my shoulders like she does. I've got sunglasses and my little thrifted baguette bag thing going on. So that's the full outfit. So my thoughts, um, it's a very like basic kind of outfit. Honestly, it's not really like something I wear much. I have mentioned this before on my channel, but I don't wear jeans that often. It feels very, very casual with the jeans and the sneakers, but I guess it does kind of make it a little dressy with the leather jacket and the sweater. This is like, people hate it or love it. I do think it looks cute. I mean, it kind of just acts like a scarf really <laughs> it does give the outfit something without this i feel like it's just very plain i feel like i would wear like a more dressy top or something underneath to kind of balance the very casualness of it or change out the shoes even like my little bow detail mule things with the kitten heel i think this could add a little bit of a feminine touch because right now it's just very you know very casual gives it a little something like almost a little unexpected. But yeah, all in all, I don't find it. It's comfy, casual. I'm literally sweating in this jacket though. Okay, this is kind of like a cute preppy look. Let's try this with the blazer and the button up. It looks like she's wearing a skirt and then loafers and socks. Very trendy, I feel like for right now, but let's try it. Okay, here's look number two. I feel like we got pretty close. I do have like a sporty white skirt, but it's like not in one of my capsules, so. My shirt is just super oversized, so I feel like it's long enough to kind of act as almost like a dress. And then I have on this thrifted oversized blazer, scrunchy white socks, and these loafers. She does have sunglasses on as well, and then a little like shoulder bag. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cute, like from the top. I just think because I'm so short, being only 5'2", it makes my legs look even shorter just because it's like so disproportionate and then it cuts off right <laughs> where the socks are with like the clunky shoe. Kind of all the elements together aren't really like my favorite. I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know. What do you think? Maybe because it's so top heavy, I really feel like I wish I had a different shoe on. I'm gonna try it with some heels and see what I think. So yeah, I actually like this a lot better. I just put on my little vintage ballet pump things. Yeah, even though I still have the sock on, I just like how this looks a little bit better. Like it doesn't quite stump me as much as the chunky loafers. I like it with the belly pump. I feel like it does make it a little bit more girly, which I think is what I was missing. This feels so like menswear up here. So yeah, much more me and something I would actually wear. Okay, right, here's the next one. It is a little bit different from the picture. She's got like a blue sweater and a maxi skirt with new balances. I don't have like a colored sweater except for I do have this brown crew neck. So I went with that and then I actually have this knit midi skirt and actually pulled it down like low and it turned into kind of like a maxi skirt and I actually really like it. I feel like I haven't really worn this skirt this way. I feel much more like comfortable in it than if I would have worn it like high-waisted with something cropped or tucked in. That's kind of like how I used to wear it and I actually like this more relaxed look 
better. And I do actually have some New Balances, but I feel like these Reeboks were fun because they are a little bit more color with like the colorful bag and the style of shoe is much more similar to the one that she's wearing. And then I do have that green bag. This is a thrifted Liz Claiborne one. And yeah, I really like this look. Really cute. I would totally wear this. Very comfortable. I do feel like since my sweater doesn't have like a texture like hers or like color, like I do need some kind of accessory going on here. But that's the only thing that I would change. I'd probably just put on like a gold chain or maybe even my pearls. I feel like the little pearl necklace is really cute with this. And then stack it up with like some maybe other necklaces as well. This is so plain. I feel like you could definitely play around here with the jewelry. Let's actually do this one just because I have that knit shrug and the gray trousers. So let's try this and see what we think. Okay, I feel like I already knew that I would like this one. Here is that look with the trousers, little high neck tank top, and the knit shrug. It looks a little bit different just because her shrug is like the same color as her top. Mine's a little off white, but honestly, I don't mind mixing the two. I think it still looks really nice. Really like the mix of everything going on here with like dressy and casual elements. I just put on my platform Converse again for this little scrunchie bag from JW Pay because she has a little top handle neutral bag. I decided to put on a little necklace with this as well. This is a little gold heart one from Ana Luisa just because I feel like I needed something even though she didn't have much jewelry on just like little gold hoops which I have on as well and then I did a low bun. Lately I've been really liking this like cutout look with the tank top and the shrug. I didn't feel like putting on a, a strapless bra, so if you see my bra strap, that's why. The only thing I would change is maybe I would do like a colored bag just to kind of add a little pop of color. Green bag that I have. Yeah, I feel like that could be really cute also. I feel like this was really cute with the red blazer. It looks like a leather blazer with like a turtleneck and a black skirt. I don't have like a red leather blazer, but I do have a green one, so we can try that. All right, here's the next look with a colored blazer. I feel like you could do this same outfit with any color jacket. Definitely like the vibe that I'm really loving for the fall. You can't see what shoes she's wearing, but I would imagine like a knee-high boot. I did the same little scrunchie bag from JW Pay. I don't have like a turtleneck sweater, so I just put on this mock neck. It doesn't quite give the same like cozy vibe, but still gives a similar look. And then of course she's got sunglasses on as well. Yeah, I love this. And definitely something that I would wear just like as is. With it getting colder though, I probably would have to wear some tights or something with it though. Okay, this look is really different for me. It's very like like mod 60s kind of glam. This is the photo that I'm emulating. Got the glasses as well to kind of like top off the look. This two-piece knitted lounge set is actually a newer purchase of mine. I got it from Gap and this has been on my wish list for a really long time and I kept on the mock neck shirt. I kind of liked how hers was like a sleeveless one but I think even like a high neck tank would look really good with under this. I kind of did a similar styling with just like the one button at the top and then this is the closest thing that I had to a headband like that. This is actually an ear warmer thing that I've had for ages. I literally don't remember the last time I wore this back in 2010 or something like because my set is dark I kind of felt like I needed a lighter bag to kind of contrast instead of like a black one I and mean, I could also do like this one I feel like I like this size better these are the closest shades that I had to what she's got it's like a fun subtle pop of color in another photo of this same outfit she actually is wearing loafers and her knit pants are cropped but mine have a little like flare on the bottom but so I put the loafers with it and yeah I don't mind it uh, I think they probably wouldn't be like the first shoe that I would have picked with this I mean I would maybe even do like a sneaker with this outfit or like a ballet flat or something I feel like the ballet flat would kind of add like a little dressy element it would be cute as well overall I do like the look probably not really something I would wear at least with the headband definitely we will be planning to wear this knit set together in other outfits as well but Again, yeah, something different with like the headband that I probably won't do. But yeah, it's cute and fun to try out. Okay, here's the next one that I think I'm gonna do. I have like a long slip dress that I can try this with. I love how the jacket is actually like satiny as well, but I don't have anything like that. I might try to use that green blazer again to get that like pop of color, you know? So I took a couple liberties with this outfit, but I really like how it turned out. And that's where I feel like getting inspiration rather than trying to copy an outfit exactly as you see it is like, the best thing. So like I said, I don't have like a satiny blazer, but the green blazer really did that pop of color that we're looking for. And then this is that long maxi slip dress that I have that is actually in my all year capsule, but I haven't had a chance to wear it. So I really like it styled like this actually. It's pleated and it's a bit of like a light pink champagne-y color. And I actually really like 
this structured of the leather blazer mixed with flowy elegant satin slip and then the shoes is kind of like where I wanted to play around a little bit she's wearing like some flats but my patterned sling backs that I have look really cute with it as well for like a little date night or something I actually really like it with these Reeboks kind of gives it more of like a street style look and I really like that so I think I'm gonna go with that for now yeah it kind of gives just more of like a casual look to it like you're just going running around doing a little shopping running some errands or something and I actually went with like a tote bag because I liked the slouchiness of the bag I actually just thrifted this and it's just an incredible quilted tote bag with this cute pattern it matches perfectly with the green and there's a little bit of pink in there it has these adorable little ribbons it like ties together at the top so cute. I love this. It actually reminds me of the Cezanne quilted tote bags that they have but mine was like six dollars so can't beat that and I really like this kind of like oversized slouchy bag lately and then I did my hair into a claw clip like she has in the picture I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this one I didn't think I would like it as much as I do honestly this is gonna be the last one because I am running out of time but this one looks kind of like basic but I liked the layering that was going on here I felt like that could be interesting it looks like she's got a button-up shirt on maybe a blue one with a white denim or chore jacket style or jacket thing and then more of like an athletic type of zip up which I don't have but this is kind of like what I'm starting with so this is my white oversized button up and then my only like chore jacket style thing is this denim thrifted one and then I've just got some flared leggings on and then my platform converse same thing that she has and then I was thinking because I don't have that athletic jacket maybe i could do this quilted one i think i showed this in a thrift haul in my outfits of the week video but i've been really loving this jacket it's just casual and i love the pop of red now that i have it on it looks almost a little too like fourth of july now i do like the thought though and like the different textures and layers going on too <laughs> red white and blue i think i do have a vest maybe the quilted vest layered on top i mean it's not bad but i don't love it should i try a blazer like i like the denim with the dressy materials but we'll try one more thing this last one's gonna be a fail isn't it all right i feel like i finally landed on a combination that i like so i went ahead and actually just put a little black crop top underneath and then i have this shirt in my all year capsule it's got like a contrast stitching going on and then i put the white button down over that and then the red quilted jacket i feel like works with the rest of this there's no other colors that it's competing with so yeah there is the full look maybe since it's so like oversized and a lot going on i'll just do a cute little top handle bag or something yeah i mean not my favorite out of all of them but it is interesting the white button down gives it like a little flowy layer and then i do like the kind of contrast with the black and the white and then the pop of red it is kind of like chaotic with like three different collars going on but fun to try at least all right guys if you made it this far to the end thanks for struggling with me through that last outfit actually i really had fun with this one um hopefully you guys enjoyed it too and got some inspiration from it definitely a few combinations that i feel like i would have never tried so yeah it was a lot of fun i highly recommend doing this little experiment i feel like it helps you nail down your style a little bit and what you like and don't like about an outfit especially when it comes to pinterest and influencers and all that stuff there's always so much that I feel like looks really good on people and you never know if it works for you until you try it out and then you might find that you don't really like a certain thing something just doesn't really work for you and that's okay I think the important thing is finding what does and playing around with your wardrobe and the clothes that you have helps you get there so yeah let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite look or if there's anything different that you would have done what would you have done to style some of the items or outfits I feel like it's always interesting to see different people's tastes and things like that and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really does help support my channel oh yeah and December is actually like around the corner this year I think what I'm gonna do is do like a weekly vlog in addition to the weekly videos that I'm doing to kind of do like a vlogmas but not like an everyday type of vlog so yeah that'll be coming your way but with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!